Innovative application of agrometeorology data. Sound water management in agriculture is built upon long-term meteorological monitoring networks that provide robust, accurate, timely and consistent data that can be used to develop and access tools needed to properly manage water. Climate data analysis and forecast especially assist water resource managers and farmers in mitigating the effects of water scarcity. We plan our cropping systems based on climate information and we operate them on the basis of weather information. Thus, local climate data is needed to mitigate risks for vulnerable communities. Improving access to local climate information is essential for advancing food security. In vulnerable countries, the sparse weather observation networks are in part attributed to the high cost of acquiring an automatic weather station. The inability of developing countries to manufacture their own automatic weather stations leads to high reoccurring costs accruing from importation and maintenance. However, the situation is changing. Robust and relatively affordable automatic agrometeorological weather stations are now available in the market, facilitating climatic data acquisition in many areas. In the recent years, we have seen an increase of uh, the evolution of sensors, specifically for environmental monitoring. Um, as an example, these are uh, temperature and humidity sensors that we can use to monitor the environment inside, inside control em environment uh, crops like glass houses. And this is a commercial sensor that is low cost. This is uh, one of our developments where we have used uh, 3D printed um, structures with uh, commercial ele electronics like this one. And this is our all digital sensor with an accuracy similar to any other scientific instrumentation. Unfortunately, the problem with some of these sensors is that they are uh, not ready for the environmental conditions that we normally find in agriculture. So they are exposed to dust and humidity, rain, uh, irrigation, etc. So it is necessary to uh, put these sensors into a more robust enclosure. And this is what you normally find in commercial scientific grade instruments. So basically you have the same instrument inside this tube uh, protected with some uh, membrane uh, to ensure that it's not going to be contaminated by the dust and the rain and the irrigation. It is possible, however, to find a compromise between uh, the low cost of uh, handmade sensors like this one and scientific grade sensors like this one. And, and this is an example where this is a commercial sensor for uh, environmental monitoring inside glass houses where we can monitor temperature and humidity among other variables. And this just runs on a AAA battery and you can connect with Bluetooth. It has an it's internal data logger. So all the information is stored here for weeks. Then the farmer can come and download the data to their own mobile phone and just retrieve the data for uh, irrigation scheduling purposes. Um, there's plenty of applications that can be developed once we have this environmental information from irrigation management to detect conditions where pests and diseases can develop much faster uh, or just to monitor the potential growth based on, on the environmental conditions. We can add other sensors like soil moisture, uh, radiation, etc. just to complement and help in the modeling or help in the predictions and um, yield forecast. As we've seen in recent years, there has been a true revolution in the world of climate sensors. Despite this, there is still a problem with the lack of daily climatic data from weather stations in developing countries. In situations where there is no weather station nearby, there are several free databases available that provide long-term mean daily values of meteorological data over regions where ground measurements are sparse or non-existent. They are satellite and model-based products that are accessible via user-friendly web-based mapping portals.